Hello friends. Uh, today I am showing you how you can configure the Wi-Fi settings of your smart TV device on Android phone. So in the Android app, we have uh, three places from where you can start the Wi-Fi configuration. You can start it from the dashboard on the top bar. You see a Wi-Fi icon from where you can start the Wi-Fi configuration. Second is in, on the module uh, tab. In the module tab, you have the module listed if you have added the serial number and the activation code. And here also you see a Wi-Fi icon from where you can start the Wi-Fi configuration. And the third place is the device settings in which again there is a Wi-Fi config option. So I am showing you how to start it from the dashboard. So on the dashboard, if I press the Wi-Fi icon, then uh, it first of all will give you the prerequisite the conditions that are required to successfully configure the Wi-Fi settings in this if you see the first requirement is that device should be in the settings mode how to put the device into the settings mode we have a separate video to uh, which uh, gives you the details how to put a device into the settings mode we have three different kind of devices one is the touch based switches uh, in which you need to touch the first switch for more than 5 seconds. Uh, another is the push button uh, switches in which you need to push the first switch for more than 5 seconds. And the third that we recently launched is the retrofit switches, uh, not switch, in which you have to toggle the any of the switch for more than 7 times and that will put it into the settings mode. So I am not uh, going further into the details how to put it into, set, into the settings mode. You can refer to our video for uh, settings more. Second is that your location GPS must be on that you can check from your settings page whether your uh, GPS is on or off. So here if you say that location is on. So we are fine with that. Second is that a allow location permission if prompted. If uh, during the configuration phase uh, app prompts you for a permission, uh, location permission, you should allow that. Without location permission, it cannot do the Wi-Fi configuration successfully. And the fourth is, uh, if your router is a dual band router, nowadays most of the routers are coming as a dual band router which has 2.4G and 5G. Uh, if you have a different name for 2.4G and 5G networks, uh, your phone should be connected to 2.4G during the configuration. After that you can put your phone back to the 5G but during the configuration you must ensure that your phone is connected to your router uh, with 2.4G network. Now I press next and it's prompting me which switch I want to configure since I have only one switch. So it's showing one, one entry only here. I press next. Now it has scanned my networks, nearby networks and uh, I have uh, a Smartify listed here which is my network with which I am going to configure it. If you don't see your network here, you can do a refresh. In the refresh, it may uh, try to scan again and in the second scan also we see the Smartify. In case you are uh, on the refresh, you are not able to see the your network here you can use the last option use my connected wi-fi in that case it will pick up the wi-fi name from the phone wi-fi with uh, it will take the network name to whatever your phone wi-fi is connected to since i know my wi-fi is a smartify uh, is the name i'm selecting it then press next enter password for your wi-fi network i am entering the password for my wi-fi network which is named smartify so here is the password I need to enter. I press next. It will, uh, uh, it may prompt you to connect uh, your phone to the serial number of uh, the network. You need to press on connect then there will be a progress bar. It will try to put your name and the password into the device. It will take some time. And when it's successful, it will give you the uh, this uh, message that success Wi-Fi parameter configured successfully. After you, uh, you see this message, 
your green light will start blinking on your uh, touch switches and the uh, post switches uh, on the retrofit you will not be able to see it but uh, uh, wait for at least 30 seconds after you see this message your device should be connected to your network thank you this is how you can configure the wi-fi on android